back with another ornament. We are going to use acrylic ornaments. So we're attempting, not saying it's going to work. We are attempting to sublimate on a acrylic ornament. You're going to hear something in the background. That is my son playing his tablet. Um, take off your plastic. Remember I told you both sides have plastic. Remove that plastic. The other side has it too. It's just really thin. Okay. So, what we're going to attempt to do, if it's going to work, I am not for sure. We are finding this out together. I have an image right here. You do not have to marry your image. I did. Crazy me, but don't be me. Don't marry your image. We're going to do this for about 340, 350 for 30 seconds. Again, this paper is liable to stick. I have cold water with just regular water right here. So we can get that off if necessary. So let's try it. My pressure is light. It's not really heavy at all. And let's see what happens. Very anxious about this. Um, I'm going to be doing a symmetric ornament later. I'm not going to promise this week. Because I kind of got bombarded on other videos I'm supposed to show with different items that you can offer for Christmas. So I'm going to try. To get it done if i can i'll load it up so let's see what happens with 30 seconds for this one that's like 35 seconds let's see what we got oh my goodness y'all Look at this. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. Look. It's whopping though. It's getting warped. So let me let it cool off right quick. It's super hot. Hold on. So I basically just put something on top of it to weigh it down. I got a tape dispenser and a big thing of Mod Podge. I'm trying to weight it down because I don't want it to warp. Y'all, it looks cute. Did you see that color? Was I by myself looking at that color? I'm excited. We may be working with something. Okay, it has cooled a little bit. This is my image. You see my tape is still here. It then went back hard like acrylic again. But you have to let it cool off. So see when I do this, it peeled. It stuck. Sticking in that water. Submerging in water is what we're going to do. Y'all, this bowl of water is life over here today. No, Kingston. Don't do that, baby. Put it down. Tell you something about these acrylic HTV. If you, I mean, acrylic ornaments, if you want to add HTV to it, you sure can. Will it work? Yes, it will. Let's see. I might even do it in this video to show you it can be done. We can do a glitter HTV or a glitter white or silver to get us picture of the effect we need. Because we can't see her, her white sweater. Because that's what she had on was a white sweater. This makes it clear. So let's finish rubbing this paper off. But do you see how that paper comes off? put you a ribbon on there and baby out the door that's freaking awesome i think i'm excited showing you but if i made a mistake you was gonna see me make a mistake too so you'll know what not to do another thing i would not recommend so see if i hold it like this the wording is backwards if i hold it like this it shows christmas you know so let's see how we're going to put this HTV on here. Let's see it. It took very well. Give me a second. Let me get some HTV. Okay, so I repeat. I know this is backwards. But the catch is this side is so shiny. If I put it on this side, it does not look. It look okay, but mm -mm, I don't like it. I like this side. 
So we're gonna do like a little circle. Well, you know what? We're not. We just gonna press this directly on here and then I'm gonna cut around it. So I'm gonna take it over here. Let me show you. I'm going to press it just a few seconds. I just want the HTV here. And in all honesty, you guys, if you have a small Cricut Easy Press or just a little bitty red iron like I have, I will use it. Because my heat press is going, I'm not just going to do all that. We working right now in the moment. We're living for this moment. Let's work at this moment. That's what we're doing. So let's see. I think that's long enough. Let's take it up. Because I don't want it to warp again. Now I'm supposed to cut around this. get an exacto knife to make this look a little bit better oh so let me tell y'all something i don't know these people on this image they was on canva so i just used some people off of canva and did this with and put them in an ornament so i don't know who these people are brilliant thing about canva they have a little bit of everybody in there you just grab an image and put your christmas background use the frame what i did was use a frame put a christmas image in the frame and then I search, you know, happy families or mom and son. However you want to do, you search whatever you want to search. And that's how I was able to find this. Let's put this on here one more time. Just to make sure it's adhered to it. Y'all, this is a whole new thing. Uh, I'm excited. Yes, 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 yes. We learned something new again today with each other. Look at us learning new stuff. It's hot again. We got to let it cool. Put some heat, I mean something heavy on top of it again. So what are we doing? Man, did you see what we just created? We took an acrylic ornament. We sublimated on it. Put it in some water to get that paper off. Then we turned around and added HTV on the back to give it a white background. If you don't want to add HTV, you can simply add acrylic paint. But I think that HTV is popping. My opinion, you do what's best for you and your customers. A silver would even be nice on here. Look at that. This back, you can tell this has been heat. But if you see these little spots in the back, that's from where the paper did not come all the way off it. That can be fixed. If I would have soaked it longer, it would have been good. Look at the back of it. If you want to add epoxy on this, UV resin, have at it. So today we turned around, did acrylic ornament. We, we actually sublimated on it. Do not, look, do not mirror your image. Do not do like me. Bonk that. No mirror your image. And you sublimate it at 350 for about 35 seconds. We put it on something to make it not warp and let it cool down. Then we turned around and we stuck it in water, got that paper off. Then we applied HTV. Now that I know the way it works now, I would most likely apply HTV then sub on it. Just my opinion. Everyone does it, you know, your way. Again, thank you for looking and watching. Zy Creation 17 we love to have you back here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share with a friend. Let's get to crafting, you guys. Until next time, peace, love, and blessings, and happy crafting.